Arizona and Georgia are crucial states for the Republican Party. Together, they could determine whether Republicans take back the Senate next year. Both states typically lean right, but that was not the case in 2020. Both are also central players in baseless election conspiracies fueled by former President Trump ever since. In Arizona, the state Senate is leading an audit of election results in the state's largest county, something Republican election officials have openly criticized. Millions of dollars in taxpayer money have gone toward the investigation. Josh Kraushar, a senior national political columnist for National Journal, argues Trumpism and an obsession with voter fraud are hurting Republicans' chances of winning back the Senate. He joins me now with more. Hi there, Josh. Good to see you again. So, in your opinion, how does it seem Senate candidates who express loyalty to former President Trump might fare in the Arizona and Georgia midterms? Well, Elaine, it's important to note that Arizona and Georgia, until this last election in 2020, were pretty reliably Republican states. Arizona voted Republican in almost every presidential election since 1948, Georgia, a similar Republican streak. But they also both have large number of suburban voters in Atlanta, in Phoenix, Scottsdale. And those suburban voters lean Republican, but they are more moderate Republicans. In Arizona, they're McCain Republicans. In Georgia, you're, they're your typical pro-business conservatives. And they were not huge fans of President Trump, even though they lean towards the Republican Party. And what Trump is doing, uh, both in continuing to deny last year's election results and also try to handpick or get involved with all the machinations taking place at the state party level, he's really hurting the GOP's chances in making a political comeback in those two states, which are absolute must wins for Republicans to have a real chance at taking back control of the Senate majority. All right. So a month ago, Josh, former NFL NFL star Herschel Walker said that he was, quote unquote, getting ready. And some interpreted that as meaning he was planning to run in Georgia. Has he said anything since then? And what might he bring to that race? We may have seen a little bit of a false start. He give a five yard penalty to the former Georgia running back. <laughs> Look, the expectation was that he would get in by the beginning of this month. I've talked to a number of Georgia Republicans who now think he's backtracking, that he hasn't made up his mind, uh, that he's a little bit nervous, frankly, about what it would take to prepare and organize a big Senate race in Georgia without any political experience. That said, he still is probably more likely to get in than not. And he's frozen, largely frozen the field in Georgia of a lot of top talent, other lawmakers uh, like Doug Collins, former Senator Perdue, we're thinking of getting in, but decided to defer to Herschel Walker, who Trump endorsed, or at least Trump encouraged him to get into this Senate race. So uh, he brings to the table like a celebrity, uh, athletic prowess from his time as a star running back at the University of Georgia. But a lot of Republicans are worried that he doesn't have a track record of political experience, of understanding where he comes from on these big policy issues that Republicans care about. And he also has a, a history of past domestic violence uh, that he's attributed to a mental health issue that he dealt with earlier in his life. But look, this is politics, and those are issues that are going to be front and center if he does decide to go through with a, a big political campaign. What about Arizona? How might Republicans push there for a 2020 election audit factor into the midterms? Yeah, that audit is taking place in the biggest county in the state, Maricopa County, that swung from Trump to Biden in the last election. And these are, again, moderate suburban voters who are conservative on a lot of issues, but understand that, that there was no fraud, no widespread fraud in the Arizona election. These are voters that are McCain Republicans. They like the Republican Party, but they don't like the direction that Trump has taken it in. And again, the former, go uh, the current governor, I should say, Doug Ducey, who was a pretty loyal Trump ally throughout Donald Trump's presidency, was just attacked mercilessly by the president, by the former president. And, and now it doesn't look like he's going to run for the Senate, even though he would be the party's top pick. Uh, and, and a lot of other Republicans, including the state's attorney general, who has sort of, had, you know, at times questioned the need for the audit, 
uh, is also been under fire. The president has attacked him uh, in numerous statements over the last few weeks. So, you know, you have two Republicans, two of the strongest Republicans held, holding statewide office, one of whom probably not running because of Donald Trump's attacks, another one being attacked even though he is the, the, the front runner to be the Republican nominee. Yeah, former President Trump, uh, his presence really looms large here, um, you know, even this deep into 2021. Josh Crosshart, Josh, thank you very much. Thanks, Elaine.